Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord, 31st December 2020 is here. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. This morning, we just want to thank the Lord because he has dealt well with us. He has been kind to us. His faithfulness has been our shield and our wall. And so today, as I did yesterday, my prayer focus is going to be thanksgiving. But I'm going to be thanking the Lord God, who is the King of Kings, because I want us to go into 2021 remembering that we're not only children of the Most High God, we're not only children of the Creator of the heavens and the earth, but we're children of the King of all kings. And therefore, we are royalty. And by virtue of that, there are certain privileges that we need to walk in that we have that I want us to be mindful of even as we go into the year 2021 by the grace of God. But before I go into prayer, I want to read Psalm 145. It says, I will exalt you, my God, O King, and with gratitude and submissive wonder. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and lovingly praise you. Yes, with awe inspired reverence, I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised, and his greatness is so vast and profound as to be unsearchable, incomprehensible to man. One generation shall praise your works to another. And shall declare your mighty and remarkable acts on the glorious splendor of your majesty. And on your wonderful works I will meditate. People will speak of the power of your awesome acts. And with gratitude and submissive wonder I will tell of your greatness. They will overflow like a fountain when they speak of your greatness, great and abundant goodness. And will sing joyfully of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and abounding in love and kindness. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works, the entirety of things created. All your works shall give thanks to you and praise you, O Lord, and your godly ones will bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men your mighty acts and the glorious majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all those of his own who fall and raises up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you in hopeful expectation, and you give them their food in due time. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing, The Lord is unwaveringly righteous in all his ways and gracious and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth without guile. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear and worship him with all inspired reverence and obedience. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh will bless and gratefully praise his holy name forever and ever. Today, Lord, even as the scripture has described you so beautifully, as much as words can allow us to do, Father God, in one way or the other, each and every one of us can testify that we have seen you demonstrate 
the many things that the scripture we've read has told us of. It's told us, O God Almighty, that one generation shall praise your works to another. And Lord God, we know that Father God, not only have we read in scripture what you have done and the mighty power that you have, but we have experienced it ourselves in one way or the other. And therefore, God, for many of us, we share your wonderful acts, so God Almighty, your, your greatness, even to our children. Even, Father God, for some of us, our parents, so God have shared that with us. For some who have grandchildren, they have spoken and shared of your greatness to their grandchildren. Father God, we have experienced the glorious splendor of your majesty. The kingdoms of men. The kingdoms of the earth, existing, O oh God, kingdoms and those, O oh God, that existed in time past, Lord. All those kingdoms cannot compare to your kingdom, for they have a beginning. For some, they do not even exist anymore. We speak of them of a, as an ancient kingdom, but God, your kingdom remains forever. It has no beginning and it has no end. Father God, unlike the kings of the earth who are put into positions of power by men, by the decisions and the counsels of men, God, you're the king who reigns and nobody, nobody was involved in making that decision as to whether you will be king or not. Father God, that is why we call you the king of the kings of the earth. When we put all the existing kingdoms together and we put the kings, O oh God Almighty, who reign all the people who come from royal homes and backgrounds and we put them all together. Father God, none of them, not in power, not in stature, not in might, not in influence. Father God, they, they, they cannot in any way be compared to you if we were to put them all together. Their wealth cannot even compare to your wealth. For indeed, the silver is yours, the gold is yours. Every precious mineral on the face of this earth that has made nations great, that has made kingdoms great, belongs to you, God. So we come before you today, hailing you as king of all kings. Thanking you that you who is the king of all kings are the one who has saved us, redeemed us with the precious blood of your son, Jesus. As king of the kings of this earth, God Almighty, we are royalty. We are princes and we are princesses. Father God Almighty, therefore God, we thank you today, not only for our lives, but Father, for the many privileges we have because, Lord God, we are royalty, God. And Father, sometimes we forget who we are. Sometimes we just remember that we are your children. Sometimes we remember that God, because we serve, we, we sometimes come before you thinking that we're servants. But God Almighty, servants do not have certain rights and privileges. Most of them, that the children, the people who have royal blood in them, the princes and the princesses, Lord, they do not have the same privileges. So, in fact, there's a word of scripture that says that it is an abomination for servants to write while princes walk. But, Lord, we thank you that we come before you as father, as children. Therefore, God, with the privileges that a child has, we have those too. We come before you, Father God Almighty, though we serve you, Lord God Almighty. We are princesses and princes, Lord God, and therefore, God, you bestow upon us, Lord God, and you lavish on us great and awesome things that the people who do not know you do not have an entitlement to. And for those things that, God, you, you've caused us to have, we want to say thank you. We thank you that, therefore, Lord, when your word says that you are our glory, and the lifter up of our heads. It is because we are royalty, O oh God, and you have made us so. Today, we just want to thank you, King of all kings. King of glory, that is who you are. The King of peace, that is who you are. And everything, every attribute, Lord God Almighty, that describes you, 
speaks of that which we can at, at receive from you or walk in because of that attribute. So where do we call you? King of glory. It means that God, we have a glory that we are supposed to walk in. And for many of us, you have caused us to experience it, O oh God, in our lives. God Almighty, because of God, we are not our own, but we belong to you. We want to thank you for your majesty. Your majesty, Lord. We bless you. We honor your name. We thank you, Father God Almighty, that Lord God, by your grace, we have tasted and seen of your goodness. We have tasted of your power. We thank you that, God, you have been our way maker. Our light in the darkness. Our promise keeper. We thank you that you are the one who has made a way where there seemed to be no way that when our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was all over, just as the songwriter said. You have made many numerous ways for us. Ways of escape for us, Lord. And so today we want to say thank you. We want to thank you also, Father God, for the things that you're going to do for us, Lord God, as we go into the new year and our new beginnings. Because, Lord God, your steadfast love never ceases. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Therefore, God, that which we have seen, O God, and tasted of your goodness and of your power, we will taste them also in the year 2021 by your grace, because God, your love is unfailing. You are dependable. You are reliable. And we thank you that, O God Almighty, as the princesses and the princes that we are, as we go into 2021, we will not be by ourselves. Father God, for even people, O oh God, of this earth, earthly kings give their children and make sure that they have security. Psalm 24, 7, not only when they're going out on an official duty. So we want to thank you that in the year 2021, Lord God, your host, O oh God Almighty of angels, will continually encamp around about us, even as the songwriter says. That the hosts of God encamp around the dwellings of the just. Not just our homes, not just where we live, but because our bodies are your temple, we thank you that God Almighty, everywhere we go, your angels will be with us, protecting us on every side, so we will not dash our foot against the stone. Thank you, God Almighty Savior, the Lord God, you will grant us favor. Supernatural favor will be our portion in the year 2021. Thank you that when we go to places, Father God Almighty, and people are, are relying and dependent on whom they know in order for them to be able to be given certain privileges, Lord God, because we know you, the King of all kings, because we know you, you who holds the hat of the King in your hands, turning it in whichever way pleases you. Father God, we may not know any earthly person who can connect us, but because we are connected to you, God, before we show up, you would have shown up and you would have paved a way. You would have assigned people, Father God Almighty, to deal favorably with us, Lord God Almighty. We thank you that according to your word, you will give men in exchange for us, Lord. When we're in, 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 in a line or queuing up for something that only there's and there's only one of it, Lord. And there are many people pursuing that one thing, Lord God, because you said in your word that you will set us securely on high and your favor surrounds us as with a shield, Lord God. We will be the ones that will receive it, not because we are proud people, but because as children of the King of Kings, Lord God Almighty, we will be preferred above other people. And thank you that God, in the year 2021, as we keep our eyes fixed on you, you will not put us to shame for them that put their trust in you shall be as Mount Zion that cannot be moved. Therefore, God, no matter what 2021 has in store, the good, the bad, anything, the ugly, Father, it will, we will not fall prey to the snare of the fowler. For that is what you have promised. And we thank you that your promises are yes and amen, that we are going into the year 2021, holding on to every promise. And Father, every promise that we, you've given to us as individuals, God, that we need to hold on to. Father, if we've never held on to any promise in our lives before, we thank you that in the year 2021, we will hold on to those promises, knowing full well that we're entitled to them because, oh God, your word says that we are your children, all oh, children of the King of Kings. So today, all glory, all honor and all adoration be to your most holy name. 
In Jesus' name, amen.